Now the local TV community mourning a major loss tonight. Jerry Springer dies of cancer at the age of 79. Best known for his controversial self-titled talk show started right here in Cincinnati in 1991 and it ran for nearly 30 years. But Jerry's local career kicked into high gear decades earlier when he served on city council and as Cincinnati's mayor in the 1970s. After his time in politics, Springer came here to WLWT as a political commentator and eventually moved right here to the anchor desk just a few feet from where we stand and one of Springer's former colleagues John London joins us now. So John interviewed Jerry Springer just a couple of months ago for WLWT's 75th anniversary celebration and Johnny was so friendly all of the young people saying he was taking selfies with with them and he was just such a kind guy as we've always known him. Yeah and that's that's the way he was and, and interviewing him again it was one of those old home week reconnection interviews because Years had gone by, but at 79, Springer never surrendered his zest for life. He was doing a Sunday folk music radio show with the longtime pal. And as you'll see, he was as current as ever and eager to reminisce. Deep in the recesses of Cincinnati television, there's a treasure trove of vintage Springer once you hit the play button. I learned that I had fallen in love with you with Cincinnati. As a broadcaster and nightly commentator and as lawmaker and mayor, the guy who introduced this city to summer rock concerts by bringing the Eagles to Riverfront Stadium on what turned out to be a blistering hot August day. And so what we did to try to keep cool and fights not breaking out is we put showers all around the field. It became the world's largest wet t-shirt. I didn't, and everyone of course thought, oh, that's Springer. Yeah. I swear, it never entered you my mind. Springer's mind was like his wit, razor sharp, and his manner as pleasant as it was magnetic. Charlie Lucas. I gotta be honest with you, John. He always made me jealous, a little bit, because it seemed to come so easy to him. Lucan remembers how Springer could commandeer a moment on the fly. Early in his career, the city took over the bus company and they had this big press conference at City Hall on a brand new bus. And all these old timers like my dad and Bill Gratison and Ted Berry were around and they're ultra angling for publicity. Jerry takes the bus driver's hat, gets on the bus and drives around the block and got every ounce of publicity that day. And my dad was furious. <laughs> Inside information, as deadlines approached to break newsroom tension at times, Springer would climb onto a desk and shout, money time. And I had these bills, and I just yell out, money time! And I threw literally 50, $75 in singles and fives all over the room. I, I got most of it on some nights. <laughs> and let me tell you, these respectable, good evening, here's what's happening, newsmen, Everyone's diving for the money. You were animals. Somewhere in the archives, that's there too. Take care of yourself and each other. And former Mayor Lucan, who you heard from in that piece, believes Springer's rebound from the check scandal of the 70s was the greatest political comeback Cincinnati has ever seen. His career was said to be over. Of course, we all know he went on and served as mayor not yeah. too long. Yeah. After John, that. we know that a newsroom can be like a family and that camaraderie is so important. You mentioned money time, which is really funny, <laughs> but I heard that after work hours, you'd go out to uh, the gang and maybe have a few beverages and Jerry would just randomly grab the microphone and just start singing in a bar. Is that true? Uh, it is true. Mike, uh, it, Jerry loved to sing. Uh, he wasn't the greatest singer in the world, <laughs> but, but he loved to sing. The Blind Lemon knows about yeah. this so many other places and he sang with uh, the Beach Boys, he wow. got to see, you know, he had his own uh, sort of group, uh, went to South Africa. He loved rock and roll, he loved music, yeah. came up with music, and um, yeah, not the greatest singer, but, uh, but it was honest. Yeah. I tell you, I just hope people out there realize what a good person he was and how despite the fact that he went on to bigger, better things and was just killing it in Chicago with his show, that he never forgot where he came from, that he loved this station and he loved this city and there was never a time when we would call him like you did just a few months ago when he wouldn't come here and help us out with anything we needed. It's true and uh, you know, this is where he started. And I think it all right in this chair. Well, that's yeah. right. Well, it, it wasn't this chair, but <laughs> it was right here. Maybe you'll have a big time talk show someday. <laughs> I, I, I don't think it'll ever be a good chair. <laughs> no. for sure.